Good morning, everybody. Cheers. Heaven. Heaven in a jar. So today is just going to be a low dairy or dairy free keto day and it is a it is Easter weekend and it is a Saturday so I'm just going to be showing you what I eat and what I have instead of dairy I guess because a lot of people are curious so I'm just going to show you all the different products and things that I use. First of all, I am going to do a little ab roller workout which I've been doing this as of this week. Yeah, I basically was doing ab exercises on the floor, but I have a popping hip. I don't know what to really do about it, but um, I've always had it, but it just really bugs me and I don't really enjoy doing ab exercises when it's constantly popping because then it just feels very, very uncomfortable. It's not painful though, it's just really uncomfortable. So I've been starting to use my ab roller again and I don't know why I ever stopped to be honest. So I've been using that and yeah, it's, Great, and I can already see my abs are starting to pop. That's really good, and um, yeah. So probably after that, I'll probably make a coffee, but obviously a dairy-free coffee, so keep watching. I'm just gonna make a coffee, and um, I'm gonna make it with coconut, canned coconut cream. I don't know why more people don't do this. If you haven't tried that in your coffee and you like coconut, you're really missing out because it's literally a tenth of the calories of using double cream. And I just think it's a lot less inflammatory, whereas dairy can definitely cause more inflammation. And obviously it just has a lot more calories. So I've got this cocoa fina one here, and this is the coconut cream. It's organic, there's no additives here, and it's it's technically a whipping cream, this one. There are a few different ones that they do. The carbs on this is 1.3 grams of carbs per 100 milliliters, but the calories is only 188 calories for 100 milliliters, and that in comparison to double cream. So I've got this double cream here, and then I've got this extra thick double cream. These really my um, fiance uses, he loves cream and he doesn't have to worry about his calories because he's not, you know, that's not what he's into. He doesn't need to. So for 100 milliliters of this double cream, it would be 497 calories. How easily can you put 100 milliliters of, of double cream in your coffee and not even think about it? That's like a whole meal you could have had there. And this extra thick one, I don't know if it's more calories or less actually, I mean, actually less. I had a feeling it might be. So it's 467 calories per 100 milliliters. I'm gonna make this iced coffee now and I will show you how I do it. So I am also going to add this MCT oil that the same brand does, the Coco Fina. It's organic and it is multi-chain, multi-chain, triglycerides and it's come from coconut. I prefer this one. It says it's caprylic and capric triglyceride. So obviously we're gonna need some coffee. If you can, try and get organic coffee because a fun, not so fun fact is that coffee is actually the most sprayed with pesticides. So I try not to throw an organic coffee if possible. So then I will just add some MCT oil, which is derived from coconut. Just do a little splash. And that will give you an energy boost and obviously help you to convert the fats into ketones. Give that a little mix. I always like as well to add a little bit of salt to my coffees. 
couple drops of stevia. If you haven't tried using stevia, I would highly recommend. It doesn't give you any digestive upset. It's completely natural and I just find it the best. So I'm gonna weigh this coconut milk just because I am tracking at the moment. frosted iced coffee obviously if you don't blend the ice with it it won't go as frosted as that but that's just what I fancied that is so good you can't really tell that it's coconutty maybe very slightly if you like coconut then there's no issue coconut and coffee is like a perfect combination I'm very happy with this cheers so as I was saying earlier, obviously the um, calories and the carbs on the coconut milk is really, really, really good and great for a keto diet. For I use 50 grams of coconut milk, but it works out at about 94 calories instead of 450 or 490, whatever it was. And the carbs is 0.6-ish for 50 grams. So, I mean, why are we not using this? I don't know why more people are not. And that one is specifically a really good brand to use. It's really low carbs, really thick, but it's still low calorie. So yeah, just thought I would share my little tips because there's no reason to be using double cream. So today I'm going to make some coconut butter blondies. I'm going to be using this coconut butter in the recipe and I just wanted to kind of clear up a few things because I know that people are a little bit confused with what actually is coconut butter. So coconut butter is, and specifically this brand, is 100% ground coconut so they completely crush coconut shavings and it makes a paste and this paste is really sweet and the only way to describe it is it's almost like a coconut version of peanut butter so if you eat toast or you eat low-carb toast you can definitely spread this on there and that is one heck of a snack it's definitely keto friendly which is really nice so for the carbs it's only nine grams of carbs per 100 grams a serving isn't even going to be as much as 100 grams so this is really keto friendly but originally when it comes it is um, like coconut oil on the top and then the other part is coconut butter so you need to melt it down and mix it together so that it com combines again. So it's just separated. A lot of people seem to think that coconut butter is just coconut oil and it's really not. It can be used in so many things. You could put it in a curry, you can put it in a sauce. Um, it would be nice on top of some ketogenic porridge. I'm definitely gonna try that another day. But for today, I'm just gonna make these keto coconut butter blondies and I think it's going to give it a really rich creamy taste of course um so I'm so excited and I love coconut so this is going to work well for me and if you're a fan of coconut then this stuff is it, it's so it is honestly heaven heaven in a jar that's how I would describe it
if you are curious, I am just doing dairy free because it doesn't upset my stomach. I'm okay with dairy. I don't see any issues with dairy for myself, but um, I know it can be quite inflammatory and also it is very calorific and I don't think it's the best thing for you. So yeah, just doing some more cleaner options and yeah, you'll have to see what I use instead. I, I prefer it. Thank you for watching, that was just my day of eating without any dairy and reducing my dairy. So if you found that interesting then please do hit the like button and of course all the recipes, all the ingredients, all of the information can be found in the description box so please have a read of that, I'll always make sure to include it. If you haven't already please do hit the subscribe button and of course like the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye bye.